Hi, my name is Julie Reynolds and I will be doing a pre-surgical exam on Oliver. He's a 13-year-old neutered male husky mix. Come here, Oliver. Okay, so he is bright, alert, responsive. He's a little bit nervous to be here today. Um, but, let's see. Hi, Ollie. He's here for a mast cell tumor removal from his left hind leg. Um, so we're going to check him for some other lumps, make sure he doesn't have any other lumps as well. Um, first I'll start with an eye exam. Okay, so I just want to make sure that his eyes look clear. Come on, Ollie. Good boy. Yeah. His eyes look pretty good. And then I also want to check his ears. There is a little bit of wax I can see. Here to have any nasal discharge. Um, his gums are a light pink, a little bit pale. Um, they are moist, and he has a capil capillary refill time of about one second. Um, next, I'll feel for his lymph nodes. I don't feel enlarged at all. Alright, then I want to check his range of motion. Not hearing any popping. A little bit uncomfortable on that one, but again, no popping. I'll do the same with his front legs. Here, Ollie. Come here. It's a little bit stiff. Um, we did weigh him on the scale. He was seventy three pounds. Um, his hair coat looks really nice. It's shiny. Um, I don't see any patches of hair loss. Um, his skin is not flaky at all. Um, but I want to feel him really closely for any more lumps um, that may need to be checked out. There is a lump on his left foreleg um, that we should ha probably have the doctor take a look at. Do a fine needle aspirate on. And then we have this mast cell tumor, which is right here. Okay, next I will check his heart. Come here, lover. And then also check his lungs. The 
does sound nice and clear. His respiratory rate was about 16 breaths per minute. Um, his heart rate was 100 beats per minute, which is normal. Um, also, I'll check his femoral pulse. condition score. He has a really nice waist, um, so he looks about, you know, the right weight. Come here, Alan. Come here, Alice. Good weight. He could maybe stand to lose a couple pounds. You can feel his ribs really um, nicely, but you don't see them. Um, does have kind of a fluffy fur, so it does, he, does make him look a little bit bigger than he actually is, if you feel him. Um, and, let's see. You don't see any discharge from his penis, which is good. Next I'll do an abdominal palpation. Reach up and feel uh, his liver. Work my way back. He did just go outside to urinate. Um, not feeling a bladder. Has some stool in his intestines. Doesn't seem to have any pain on palpation. And finally I'll do the rectal um, portion. Um, does look like he has good rectal tone. Um, nice and pink. There is no sign of any diarrhea. Um, I did put some lube on the thermometer. This is not his favorite part of the exam. Temperature is 101 degrees Fahrenheit even, um, which is normal. And that concludes our pre-surgical exam for Oliver. Um, he has had thoracic radiographs completed already, um, and um, also abdominal radiographs. We want to make sure that um, there was no metastasis of the mast cell tumor, um, any cancer metastasizing in the, especially in the lungs. Um, Due to the fact that his mu mucous membranes were a little bit pale, um, and he is a geriatric pet, we are going to do a full CBC and chemistry. Um, that'll check for any signs of anemia, and also make sure his liver and kidney are functioning really well. Um, so we want to make sure he is a good surgical candidate. So far, I would say he's an ASA2 um, scale, um, just due to the fact that he is older, has a mast cell tumor. Um, but otherwise healthy, he does not, there's been no vomiting, no diarrhea, um, he's been eating well, normal energy levels, and, um, yeah, seems to be doing well in general, so, um, give him a score of an ASA too.